Good morning, fans. Happy Saturday. Um, I have some Kool-Aid here I'm going to make for you. I saw a lot of videos. I'm going to get right into my video. Um, i seen a lot of YouTubers make Kool-Aid, but I am going to show you the way to make Kool-Aid, and it come out perfect every time. So for my presentation, you're gonna need some sugar. You're gonna need you a pitcher with cold water in there. And I have what you call Dixie cups. I made this video before and I lost the content for my channel. So I am gonna make it again for this channel. I have two packs of Hawaiian punch kool-aid and one pack of lemon so we're gonna get right into the video put one pack of lemon kool-aid into your kool-aid hawaiian punch one more hawaiian punch You know, everyone should know how to make Kool-Aid, but believe it or not, everyone don't know how to make Kool-Aid, so I am going to show you. You got a spoon about this size, and you're going to put six of these size spoon of sugar into the pitcher. So I got three. four, five, six. And after you put six big um, spoonful of sugar into a pitcher this size, it should be perfect. You shouldn't need any more sugar, but always taste it. And just do a taste test. Well, I'm going to put one more because I want it just right. You could over put, you could overdo Kool-Aid. Too much sugar is too sweet. I don't like it like that. I don't like it watery. I like it just right. Now that is just right. After I make my Kool-Aid, I got what you call Dixie cups here. And when I was growing up, my mom used to make them. And my Aunt Meg Lee, she was from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And actually, they used to sell these, a cup of Kool-Aid. Um, but it would be frozen. So after I pour my Kool-Aid into the cup, I am going to put it in the freezer for about two and a half hours to freeze. My grandkids always enjoy this. You know, Halloween is coming up. This would be a great um, treat for if you got some kids coming over or you're playing a little party. Um, you get you some Dixie Cups. You can buy them at any uh, market. Um, you put these, after you put your Kool-Aid into these little cups, Put them into the refrigerator for about two and a half hours. And on my next presentation, I will show you, uh, I'm going to show you just how they come out. Also, what you can do with Dixie Cups and Kool-Aid is 
you can put any kind of fruit you want into the cup and then put the Kool-Aid in there and freeze it in the freezer. And I mean, it's a delicious, um, cheap, um, little treat for little kids or myself. I enjoy them and I am a dog. And that ends my presentation about Kool-Aid today. Now, for my next video today, I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some hot dog buns, whatever kind you like. You are going to need some onions, whichever you like to, some people like these onions to eat and some like the white. You are gonna need a pack of hot dogs. This is the brand I prefer. You are going to need some chili. Now this is the brand that I buy. It is in the frozen section of the market I go to. And this is the national um, Coney Island brand. I love it. Also, I have some crushed peppers here. You're going to need to use some ketchup and mustard. And I'll be joining you in the next video shortly. Um, once again, happy Saturday. Um, don't forget about tomorrow is Grandparents Day. Um, I think it's the 13th. Um, you can look that up, but it's Grandparents Day and it's Sunday um, tomorrow. So don't forget to um, share something good with your grandparents if they still living or um, you got an older relative, um, take them a piece of cake or a piece of candy or something, or just call them up and say, hey. So that ends my presentation today. And I'll see you in my next video. And once again, have a nice, wonderful, safe Saturday. Bye-bye.